Hi everyone, it's Robin the Sudoku Guy with tutorial number 22 and as promised here is an advanced level working with the 3x3. Now what I've got here is a very difficult puzzle, some people call it diabolical, but it's a difficult puzzle where I went through the puzzle and discovered that there were quite a few 3x3s. And the whole point of this tutorial is to let you know that if you come across a 3x3 that you cannot solve, don't worry about it, leave it and push on with the rest of the puzzle because the time will come when suddenly you'll have a number uh, that will enable you to solve it. Now I have on the board here, uh, in green, uh, several 3x3s. Let me point them out for you. Here's one here, one, two, and a five along that row. Here's another one here, a one, five, and eight, just there within this block in that column. Here's another one here as a column, a two, six, and a one, or one, two, and six. Here's another one over here, which is a two, four, five within a block. These are all different forms of um, the 3x3s. Now what I did was that I went ahead until I found another um, number that would help me. And boy oh boy did I see something happen when I discovered that 2. So we're going to show you what happens with that 2. First of all, let's look at this one here this 3x3 three three here. When that 2 came on the scene, as it were, this makes this a 1. So, that 1 means that this 5 becomes a real 5. The 1 is, er is eliminated. If that is a 5, then this, whoops, I haven't got a very clean number there, I'm looking at the sideways, that becomes an 8. If that becomes an 8, then this becomes your 1. So boom, 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 we're able to solve that whole three numbers very easily just by understanding or uh, finding that two. Now let's look at this. We can check it out. There's a middle one, a bottom one, and a top one. And so that helps you solve that three by three. But we've now already almost solved this three by three. Remember there was a, a, a three by three along here. That one and five means that this number over here, that 5 disappears and we get a 2 there. And by getting a 2 there, let's see what happens. This becomes a 2. This therefore becomes a 4-5 matching pair. And you may say, well we didn't solve the whole 3 by 3. So, what do we do now? Well, it just so happens that if we can solve the rest of that 3 by 3 very easily, if you look at the very top row, you'll see that there's one cell missing and it's a one, two, three, it's a four. So if I put that four in, let's look at the ramifications. Immediately this four is cancelled so this becomes a five and when you've got that five therefore this becomes a four. Now there's another way of checking whether that four is correct and as I've said many times before there's many ways to cook an egg and there's many pathways we can go to solve a number and to self-check. Have, have a look up here on the right. We have a 1, 2. We know that in this block on the right there has to be a 1. We've already in this block got a left. Therefore there's a 1 in the center here. This, for, this therefore becomes a 1 and by doing that as a 1 this becomes a 5 if that becomes a 5, then we know that this has to be 4 because we remember originally we had a 4, 5 in there. So that's, that's another way of solving that. Now there are other, uh, there are other um, uh, 3 by 3s that uh, I can solve. You've probably seen some answers here already. Here's a column here with a 1, 2 and a 6, but I think the first thing I will do is an easy one. Uh, in this case here, We've got a 3x3 three three and a 1, 2 and 8. We have learned from previous lessons that if you have a matching pair, then any other number of, that's related to that matching pair in that row can be eliminated. So that means that this 1, 2, 8 becomes an 8. We can get rid of the 1 and the 2 and this becomes an 8. 
Now that has ramifications. Have a look down here. We've got an 8 on the top, an 8 on the bottom. Therefore, this becomes an 8. Now, that makes sense too, because when we looked at this column, you probably had noticed already there was only one cell left, and it happened to be an 8. So we have a double way of checking there. Well, what does that do? Well, it means that uh, in this block, we have uh, two six. Where's a two six up here? Two, there's a two six here. So this two six suddenly gets changed. We, if we have two, two six, two six, two six, one two there, that two means that this cannot be a two, so therefore it becomes a six. If that becomes a six, then this eliminates that six and it becomes a two. If that becomes a two, that eliminates, now we're doing this one here, that eliminates that two, so that becomes a one, and let's continue on on this particular one here, if that's a two down here, this becomes a six. Why? We got that very easily solved, and we could have gone in another way too, but let's now have a look at this one. We've got a one there, and this, this one here can be solved very easily, because if that's a one, that's a two. And uh, let's check. We can do it this. By, we can check it by saying top, middle, and bottom. So what you've seen here is a bunch of three by threes, very easily solved, just because we went ahead, found some other numbers, and bang oh, way to go! We could solve the whole puzzle. Now I didn't solve the whole puzzle because I got as far as where I knew that you could solve the three by threes. You may want to go ahead and finish the puzzle, which, which, which you can if you wish. So that's it for today's session. Bye for now.